Hello? This is Frank Costanza. What do you want? You think you can keep us out of Florida? We're moving in lock, stock, and barrel. We're gonna be in the pool. We're gonna be in the clubhouse. We're gonna be all over that shuffleboard court. And I dare you to keep me out! Come on, Frank, I need you. I mean, the war was 50 years ago. In my mind, there's a war still going on. All right, what happened, Frank? What is it that you can't get over? Incheon, Korea, in 1950. I was the best cook Uncle Sam ever saw. Slinging hash for the fighting 103rd. As we marched north, our supply lines were getting thin. Well, one day, a couple of GIs found a crate. Inside was 600 pounds of prime Texas steer. At least it once was prime. The used date was three weeks past. But I was arrogant, I was brash. I thought if I used just the right spices, <laughs> cooked it long enough. What happened? I went too far. I overseasoned it. Men were keeling over all around me. I can still hear the wretch screaming. I sent 16 of my own men to the latrines that night. <laughs> they were just boys. Frank, you were a boy, too. And it was war. I was a crazy time for everyone. Tell that to Bobby Colby. All that kid wanted to do was go home. Well, he went home all right. With a crater in his colon the size of a cutlet. Frank. I had to sit him on a cork the 18-hour flight home. Frank, now listen to me. 200 Jewish singles need you. This is your chance to make it all right again. No. No, I'll never cook again. Never. Now get out of my house. Get out. Get out. It's dry. That's the way I always make it. Well, it sucks. <laughs> what did you say? Your meatloaf is mushy, your salmon croquettes are oily, and your eggplant parmesan is a disgrace to this house! Well, that's too bad, because I'm the only one who cooks around here! Not anymore! Give me that spatula! I'm back, baby! Understand. You got the hen, the chicken, and the rooster. The rooster goes with the chicken. So who's having sex with the hen? <laughs> Talk about it another time. But you see my point here? You only hear of a hen, a rooster, and a chicken. Something's missing. Something's missing, all right. <laughs> They're all chickens. The rooster has sex with all of them. That's perverse. Maybe you should take a look at a few bras. Where's your bra? Give him a bra to look at. I'm not giving him a bra. Why not? Because I don't need him looking at my bra. Fine, so he'll go into the interview. He wouldn't know what he's talking about. We have to. You don't even know what they're made from. They're made from lycra spandex. Get out of here. Lycra spandex? I think they are made from lycra spandex. You want to bet? How much you want to bet? I'm not betting. Take a look. All right, I'll get a bra. I don't know what the big problem is. Getting a bra. Doesn't want to get a bra. I'm not saying go to the library and read the whole history, but it wouldn't kill you to know a little bit about it. All right, it wouldn't kill me. How long does it take to find a bra? What's going on in there? You ask me to get a pair of underwear, I'm back in two seconds.
I haven't celebrated Festivus in years. What is your interest? Well, just tell me everything, huh? Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. <laughs> I reached for the last one they had, but so did another man. As I rained blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. What happened to the doll? It was destroyed. But out of that, a new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of us. Well, that must have been some kind of doll. She was. I got a lot of problems with you people. Now, you're gonna hear about it. You, Kroger. My son tells me your company stinks. Oh, God. <laughs> Quiet, you'll get yours in a minute. Kruger, you couldn't smooth a silk sheet if you had a hot date with a babe. I lost my train of thought. You are Mr. and Mrs. Costanza. What the hell did you trade Jay Buna for? He had 30 home runs and over 100 RBIs last year. He's got a rocket for an arm. You don't know what the hell you're doing. No, you leave a message. Jerry, it's Frank Costanza. Mr. Steinbrenner's here. George is dead. Call me back. So, uh, Mom, Dad, I was hoping that you could help me to remember my childhood a, a little more clearly. I feel a draft. Let's change tables. Get out of here. We have a booth. Frank, I'm cold. Order a hot dish. Why can't we sit over there? That's not a booth. So who says we have to sit in the booth? I didn't take the subway all the way to New York to sit at a table like that. No, I didn't take the subway to be in a drafty restaurant. Now, George, what do you want to know about your childhood? Actually, I think I'm pretty clear on it. Where's that breeze coming from? Hi, Mr. Costanza. What's, uh... Where's your friend, Kramer? I don't know why. Because I'm looking for him, that's why. He stopped short. Well, what do you mean? In a car with my wife. He stopped short. You think I don't know what that's about? That's my old move. I used it on Estelle 40 years ago. I told everybody about it. Everybody knows. Mm, I stopped short. <laughs> really? Stopping short? That's a good move. <laughs> you're not kidding. That's a good move. Hey. hey, Frank. Don't frank me. I know what you did. How dare you stop short with my wife? Come on, Frank, relax. I don't even know what you're talking about. Think I don't know? Ash man! <laughs> to think I almost split the profits on the man's ear with you. Bro. Man's ear! Bro! I'm gone two weeks, and you turn our house into... into Bourbon Street? Where am I going to sleep? What are you talking about? I can't sleep in there. Of course you can. I can't. I can't! That's it. You're grounded. You can't ground me. I'm a grown man. You want to live here? You respect the rules of our house. You're grounded! Where's my boy? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sitting at home reading a periodical, and this is the call I get. My son is a bootlegger. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Who put you up to this? Was it her? All right, wait a minute. I think you've got it backwards. My George isn't clever enough to hatch a scheme like this. You got that right. What the hell does that mean? That means whatever the hell you want it to mean. You saying you want a piece of me? I could drop you like a bag of dirt. You want a piece of me? You got it! <laughs>